What's going on, guys? So today on this Master Grade Monday unboxing, we'll be taking a look at a Master Grade. Go figure. And they picked this up a while, a while ago, and it is the RGM 96, I guess. I can't see the number. I assume it's 96, and it's a Jesta. So basically, newest-ish version of the Jim Jim from good old days. Not the Jim Jim, but the Jim. You know what I mean. So it's a new RGM for the ages and kind of a a buddy of the Jagan kind of debuted in Unicorn by the way new knife uh, but yeah basically I've wanted the Jagan for a very long time all the way back to when good old Nick built one a very long time ago at some of the earliest build meets that we had here in Houston and uh, I put it in some very provocative poses so this is a lot of stuff in here i guess and of course it's all going to be dark blue and or black so this is going to be a study in nub removal and having sharp knives <sighs> bigs on the floor Okay, so a runner got a whole bunch of armor. Most of this looks like leg armor, chunk of a shield. I don't know why it's offset, but it's part of a shield. Looks like chest armor here, tactical headset pieces there, faceplate, a couple other things there. That looks to be an ammo canister, probably for a side skirt or something. Looks like chest vents. No wrist, wrist hook armor, head stuff, yellow bits there for. Uh, crotch V fin, it looks like, and then wherever that's gonna go, probably in a shield by the looks of it. That's pretty cool. And beam savers, whoop de do. And these kind of hands, uh, they have their positives and their negatives, so just take it or leave it. It's up to you. Um, I kind of like them, they're better than other ones, but in a lot of other aspects, they're not good. The best thing about them is the way they can peg weapons in. And yeah, the tip of the blade is broke off. Have to sharpen it up, I guess. And shrunk on the floor. We get the orange uh, visor and gun pieces, looks like. And um, I wish I could get the red LED that goes in the head, because it would be cool to have that. I don't have that what's that uh looks to be chest parts uh backpack more chest shoulder surrounds kind of the back side of the chest stuff uh cockpit area middle of the backpack area probably bits for the side skirt front skirts yeah probably front skirts looking at that all kinds of different bits here's the part of the shield with that in there so that's interesting. Yeah, it is a very asymmetrical shield. That's kind of cool. Uh, I have no idea. It looks like it could be foot. Just got a message on Instagram. Uh, let's see here. Leg armor. Definitely thigh armor. Uh-oh. It's a hose. Does that mean it's a Xeon thing? Could be. Uh, all kinds of little bits for the shield and probably for skirts and whatnot. Tiny pilot figures. Beam saber parts, more tactical headphones, head crest thing, waist armor, uh, magnetic dealies for joints. <laughs> Where the vents go on the chest, shield weird offset vents, cuffs for the wrist, and more of those things. Quiet, you. Oh, wait, wait, sorry. Uh, let's see, dry transfers and... Normal stickers plus a singular green camera sticker. But a whole bunch of chrome plate there. That's always good to have. I don't know if I'll do dry transfers. I'll look at it. And I would love to get the Jesta Cannon. But that thing is usually so expensive for a P-Band IMG. Actually shows it on the box there. I kind of wish it was just an option parts set. All right, so we got a missile canister here for like side skirt or bomb canister, may not be missiles. Uh, looks to be shoulder armor, definitely feet, ankle bits, all that kind of stuff, knee armor, 
Mostly looks like knee stuff, maybe. Knee, knee leg stuff. Same runner. Let's see what else we got. F1 is not being able to see in the back. Or the box, rather. Okay. Uh, clear bits for the kind of mono eye scanner. And what I assume is like the clear neck peg or something to that effect. Uh, I think the LED goes in the chest, much like the uh, 3.0 Gundam. Like goes in the chest, aiming up and through the neck. Uh, ankle joints, knee joints, or back of the knee joints, technically speaking. And then, mm, that's small, that looks like arm. Just random bits. I assume there's a duplicate of that somewhere. A partial duplicate. Uh, let's see here. This looks like shoulder armor. Not sure what this is. It's all hollow, though. It's got a big vent on it, probably for... Is it the chest vent? You can see. Looks like it might be. Yeah, judging by the shape. That's interesting. Definitely doesn't assemble like normal things. There's no like uh, 2.0 parts that I'm seeing. So you got the big Bernier back here. Random little bits of stuff. Probably for the feet, if I had to guess, right here. That's what that looks like. Looks like feet. This is definitely ankle armor. Something along those lines. Hmm. Skirt looking things. Uh, shoulder. Shoulder thingy. Probably knee or elbow joint there. Cool. Presumably there's a whole bag of the exact same stuff right here. Ooh. Whoa. Big old bag. Alright. Ooh. Hey, 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 hey. That's a sharp knife into my hand. Last bigs. Oh, there's a runner in there without a bag. I can see it. Okay, so uh, repeat of this part plus all these bits, more feet armors, hip joints, dozens of small things. I have no idea what those do. Usually, when you get like a piece like this, this is for like a small thing that's moving, so, or in like the way the knee will like separate and stuff like that. That's cool. Arm joints. Yeah. Polycaps? Oh my god, polycaps are the devil. That was sarcasm for all those people who hate polycap kits. I, I, I don't understand. Alright, so uh, more missile bits. Obviously a big old gun here. Huge barrel, that's cool. Lots of other things here. A bunch of ammo clips? Yeah, a whole bunch of them. I'm guessing he's got a rack of them somewhere. Uh... I'm not entirely certain which part this is, but that's got a big old scratch on it. Hmm. Uh, that's the main waist joint for sure. Cockpit chair. Thruster bits for probably inside, or the outside edge of the shoulders. Uh, those might be the shoulder joints, if I had to guess. That's what they look like. Wrist. Wrist cuff, like inside. Right there a bit. Neat. Okay. Oh. Big old hunk of legs. Look at these things. Look at these big beefy leg bits. That's crazy. That's crazy. And you got skirts. Main chest bit. Um, that might be how the hips work if I had to guess. I don't know exactly what that is. It's cool looking though. I don't know what it does. Uh, huh. Okay. That's a neck area. That's cool. Different things here. That's for the shield. Speaking of which, there's a really weird looking shield. It's just weird. Not gonna lie. Okay, so look at this. Look. This entire runner is not in a bag. Somebody else posted the other day uh, that they had a kit that the that they had a runner not in the bag. Guessing they ran out of bags or because there were three runners in that last bag and this one's by itself. I'm gonna guess there were supposed to be two bags and two sets of runners per um because this is partially duplicated so this all is a duplicate stuff this is all uh newish stuff so this is your hip section here 
I'm not entirely certain which section that's going to be. Because there's a lot of stuff that's different. Wow, look at this. Okay, so this is... So that's where the circular bits go for the hips. So they can... They can do all kinds of craziness. And this is the next kind of... If I had to guess, that's the torso center. Like, see so yeah, the ball there? Probably near where the cockpit goes, if I had to guess. And then we've got some little fake piston guys down here. Guessing those are probably for the back of the elbows. Just guessing. And a proper MG manual. I don't know why I like the ones with the full-on box art and stuff like that. It's such a pretty thing. Okay, so I was talking about chest vents. It doesn't have chest vents in the traditional sense. So I don't know where those pieces go. I'll just figure it out as I go. Um, it's just a cool military design. I just, I dig it. I always have. Okay, so that one thing, mostly backpack it looks like. Big beefy ass backpack. Though I do wish they could reprint this with... Uh, more stuff here. Okay, so here's your Jagan. Okay, so the Jagan was actually 89. I forgot about that. So Jagan predates Jestra. So Jestra's in 96. Yeah. So there's the RGM 8090E. So that's one of the better Jagans. Stark Jagan. Things like that. If, if there were less versions of the Jagan that were... Uh, were normal, or I'm sorry, not P Bandai, I would definitely be more keen on getting them. It's just like, good lord. like the, It's like they do a basic version that is, you know, basic and normal, and then they blow it all out with customs and all the different variations that are all P Bandai. It's like, come on. Come on, man. Okay, so that's about just adding some extra crap to it right there. Just do it. It's fine. Just do it. Probably do it with some matte black. Little details. I like the the molded detail on it is pretty good. And considering this is an older kit, I mean, it's been it's been around a while. So I mean, and it does look like this might be like a multi. Uh, I don't know if I'll get this done in a week. I got I got a lot going on, um, so I'll do what I can. So. Um, if I don't get it done in a week, just let me know in the comments if you guys want to see, like, progress. Like, see how it's going. Um, obviously, it's not going to be a custom or anything like that. Like, the last time I did one of those, like, progress, like, check-in things, uh, that was for the, uh, Musha. But that's because I was customizing stuff as I went. This one, I'm not going to be doing that. This is just going to be about a straight build as I can. Um... And then, of course, along with doing other stuff, like the, the patrons saw um, one of my next builds, or at least they will. I don't know when that video is going live. Um, but I did an unboxing for them of a whole separate kit that you guys won't see over here till later. But I am currently working on another HG along with my side custom build thing that I'm doing. That I need to get back on that. I just haven't been super motivated the last few days. And then there we go. So guys, make sure you come back for the actual review or review set, however you want me to do that. If you do want me to do it, uh, let me know. But of course, give a big old thumbs up. And if you haven't heard about the MS100 contest, there will be a link down below taking you to the instru or the uh, rules. And if you want to, go check out the actual uh, announcement video. I'll put it up there in the thing. But, uh, you know, as long as I'm doing master grades and stuff like that, I'm going to definitely try to promote the contest because it's all 1-100 based. So, but I'll catch you guys later. Remember, as always, to keep on building.